Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. I thought it would be a good time to sit down, have a chat, go over some of my things for 2024. So grab yourself a mug of tea or coffee or hot chocolate or whatever warm drink you are feeling today and we will have a little bit of a catch up. So I am not a huge believer in new year, new me. I think it's a bit of a flash in the pan idea and a lot of people think, yep, yeah, January the 1st, I'm going to hit the ground running and I'm going to do 40 new things that I have never ever done before. I do, th I do see why... I do completely understand why January 1st seems like a perfect time to set yourself some goals, change up some eating habits, some gym habits, whatever it may be. I do see the connection of everything being a fresh start, but I also think that it is rather cliche and generally not stuck to that often. So, I don't like to set myself goals in January and also January feels like the longest month ever, every single year. Um, as I'm recording this video, it is the 30th of January, but it feels like the 3000th of January. So I always think if you are setting new goals and new aspirations for yourself in 2024 or any year for that matter, um, I always just think, is the darkest, coldest, windiest, soggiest, longest, horriblest month the best time and the most effective time to really do those things? In my opinion, I don't think so. So I almost treat January as like a trial month and then going forward, from February onwards, I actually really put into place the things that I want to be doing in 2024. So my first thing for 2024 is I want to be eating healthier. Um, I have been doing this for part of January. Um, I have been calorie counting and focusing on a calorie deficit um, because I still want to eat everything that I want. So if I want chocolate, if I want sweets, if I want crisps, whatever it is, I will still have those things, but it will be in moderation because I am calorie counting and going under the recommended amount of calories per day for a woman. So in, was it my last video? I think it was. In my last video, I shared with you guys my kind of cheesecake inspired breakfast that I make for myself every weekday morning and I take that to work with me. I have also been using some Slimming World lunch pots. I've picked those up from Iceland and they are healthy, low in calories, high in vegetables. So I have been taking those to work with me to, to make sure that I am properly filled up at work during my lunch because snacking at work is one of the main things that I needed to cut out and break from. It's not even a routine or a cycle, it was just a habit that I kept doing. It was that like, oh, I feel a bit peckish, I'm gonna have some crisps or whatever it may be, I was really snacky at work. So I do think, fingers crossed, I have hit that on the head and I do plan to continue with that. The next thing is that I am wanting to look after the pennies this year. I really want to be a little bit more cautious in how I spend my money, where I spend my money, and just being better with my savings as well. I do want to be putting into my savings each month, which I have not done in quite a while. So my second plan for 2024 is to be better with my spending and saving 
because obviously they go hand in hand with one another. I still want to treat myself and obviously purchase things that I need, but I have definitely done unnecessary purchases in the past. So I will now make sure that I'm always questioning myself as to whether it is something that I really need or whether it's just something that I want in the moment. Obviously some wants I will still allow myself, but some of them need to go. Goal number three for 2024 is to move more and just generally look after my body a little bit better. I did not move much last year, to be perfectly honest with you. I kind of felt in a bit of a rut with everything that I was doing. So I have started from scratch. I have started a fitness class. Um, I go a couple of times a month which is more than enough for me because like I say I was not doing anything I was not moving my body at all so I'm really kind of trying to ease myself into it but also not go too crazy with the classes because I think if I commit myself to every single week I will hit a wall again where I am no longer enjoying what I'm doing. So yeah, I have started an aerial class. So it is the silks and the hoops and you kind of pull yourself up and make pretty poses and do all of that kind of stuff. I am extremely, extremely beginner. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm really having fun and I can't wait for the next class. The first one that I did, I literally ached for the whole week. Your girl has absolutely zero upper body strength, right? So I finished that class, I jumped in my car to drive home, I had to do the handbrake with both hands because my muscles were just so like, ah, what's happening? Like so sore that I could not even lift the handbrake of my car. There is so many silly things that I just could not do because my muscles ached that bad from this class. But I am seeing this as a really good thing. Obviously, like I say, I have zero upper body strength, so I'm hoping this will start to change things with that. And also, if I'm aching that much from a one hour class, then you know that it is doing some really good things for my body and working muscles, which probably have not done any hard work in a rather long time. So number four is to feel good. Um, I don't really, I was gonna say I don't really get ready. Obviously I get ready every day, but that just kind of means clothing so I can wear anything that I want to work it does not have to be specific business dress or anything like that so for example today I went to work in my Vans jumper because I didn't have to dress up I did not put makeup on for work today I have put makeup on for the purpose of recording this video I am just in a position where there is no requirement for looking a certain way so then on a number of occasions I just kind of throw some clothes on and go that'll do and then trot off to work but I want to feel good within myself so I am going to try and put a little bit more effort into my outfits put makeup on a couple of more times and just have more days where I feel good I look good and I just think that that will really improve my mood on a day-to-day -day basis. Also within the kind of feel good, look good category, I also always get my nails done. So this is how we are looking at the moment. A nice kind of grey, blue, sparkly motif. Although I say that I have ripped off one of my nails the other day and it really, really hurts. I've only just taken the plaster off of my thumb because it was bleeding with how far up I had ripped off the nail. So yeah, that kind of goes against this point already, but I will be going back and getting everything sorted for my next appointment. I just have to deal with this stumpy little thumb for a little while. My fifth 
And final goal for 2024 is to be a lot more present and a lot more focused within my YouTube channel. I have kind of dabbled here and there throughout the years for a number of years now and I have never really put a schedule together, a plan together, any of these kind of things and also I've just kind of made the videos that I like to make. I will still obviously be doing that but I will also now be taking more of a deep dive into the analytics side of the YouTube channel to see what you guys are enjoying and bring videos which you guys obviously enjoy watching. Um, so then we've got a happy little channel all together. So yeah, I am just really trying to hit YouTube hard this year. I really want to kind of make an impact on the channel and for myself as well. So if you would like to stick around and see more videos from myself, I will be doing my very, very best to upload once a week, every week. Um, I have been putting a calendar together of different plans and different videos and different ideas and when I want different things to go out. So at this moment in time, I am feeling very organized in regards to my YouTube. And yeah, I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button, join this journey and if there is anything that you want to see in terms of my YouTube, let me know down in the comments and I can see if I can put those videos together for you as well. I uh, would be more than happy to hear your guys' ideas and yeah, so that is my five things, five goals, five plans for 2024 and hopefully I will do a good job at sticking to them. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys at the next one.